So what does a Legion series pistol look like when you get it and you get it out of the box? Well, let's take a look. It doesn't look much different than any other SIG. The box is exactly the same. Open the box up and of course right off the bat you do see something different. Got a little extra swag here. Got a nice Legion sticker that I will have to find a home for. And then we have our normal owner's manual and other similar things. There is some additional swag, nice SIG sticker. Information about lubricants that they partner with and SIG ammo and all that good stuff. And then there is a special little brochure for the Legion series. And this has information where you can enter some information about the pistol you just bought and you and they will send you that special box a special case with the coin I hope to have that and incorporate that if not in this video in one very soon the pistol itself well packaged of course as all SIGs are when you get them let's get our gun lock out of here and move it out of the way there's a little bit of uh, Sig Sauer branded Lucas Oil gun oil, which is interesting because I did not know Lucas Oil was in the gun oil business, and I wonder what would be different about that, but I'll give it a try. It's a little sample of gun oil. Two magazines. I'm sure I can find a use for those. And part we really want to see the pistol so other than taking a quick peek at it at my FFLs before doing the paperwork this is really the first look so it is still still very wet with all the birthing fluid from the factory this gun was just made by the way um, less than a week ago from today. I'm not going to tell you those dates because that won't really mean anything, but less than a week from production to my desktop. And it won't be long. In fact, it won't be 24 hours from now before this thing gets out and gets a hundred rounds through it or more. But here is the very first look at her just sort of doing a nice visual. Let me cut off the baby bracelet, as I always do. I do save those. There is the Sig Legion medallion in the grip, the G10 grip, which are wonderful grips. If you haven't had a chance yet, to feel Sig Sauer's G10 grips, you owe it to yourself. Even if it's just asking the guy at the gun shop to let you handle it. All right, another magazine in the pistol. They do come with three magazines. And I'm gonna wipe it down a little bit and we'll take a good close initial look at it. Okay, here's our quick first look at the Legion. P226, single action only. You don't see a lot of the SAOs. You see a lot of legions in P226, double action, single action. You see the P229s in double action, single action. The SAO was really appealing to me and interesting to me. And I'll tell you what, just right off the bat, I can tell this master shop flat trigger is going to be insane. It is light and crisp and this reset you almost can't measure. <laughs> Unbelievable. So here is again a quick quick first out of the box look. At the 9mm P226 Legion single action only from Sig Sauer.
I'll show you a lot more of it. We'll get it 100 rounds through it or more. So I thought maybe for the SIG Legion, I could do something a little different for the first 100. And I'm going to do something a little different. The very first 100 rounds, or at least most of the first 100 rounds, are going to be in an IDPA match. This SIG Legion, P226 single action only. I do not have a single round through this gun yet. It is fresh out of the box, fresh from the factory, never been fired. And the very first shots, and most of the first hundred, are going to be in this IDPA match today. Unfortunately, for the, uh, for the P226 single action only, there is no Legion holster available yet. SIG tells me they're working on them and they hope to have them soon, but as of right now, there is no holster available. But I was lucky in that I tried the holster for the P320, I'm not even sure which one, I think the 45, but the P320 holster fits pretty good and works. Okay, so that was an IDPA match, and that with uh, passing the gun around a little bit afterwards to a couple of folks who wanted to take a few shots out of it, that was just over 100 rounds. The very next morning, I got up and went and shot Steel Challenge, put about another 150 or so through it. What a great way to break in any gun, but an absolutely excellent way to break in this particular gun, shooting two matches back to back. So, made another trip to the range and put another couple hundred at least through it, so... Right now I'm standing at over 400, somewhere between four and 500 rounds through this gun. So that's a pretty thorough first hundred. But it's going to get even more detailed than that later. There's going to be an in-depth review on Guns America of this gun. 
So stay tuned for that. I'll let you know where to find it and when it's there. But just a couple of quick points on this gun, not to get into too much detail. Uh, it is, you know, specifications wise, it's really not any different um, in, the, in the basics than any other P226 single action only. All the specs are the same in terms of weights and measures and all those things. The key stuff, you know, for the Legion is what they've done, yeah, cosmetically. Um, you know, certainly the finish, that gray, that Legion gray finish is a cosmetic change. You could argue that the G10 grips are cosmetic, <laughs> unless you've ever touched them, and then you know better. Uh, they are, believe me, they are much more than cosmetic. But they've done some of the really cool things like the extra checkering at the bottom of the trigger guard and, you know, the aggressive checkering and undercutting on the front strap, front cocking serrations, modified beaver tail, which gives you an excellent high grip on the pistol, but doesn't stick out quite as far. The sights, I find the sights to be extremely good. Sig calls them x-ray sights. That glowing green in the front and the very dull dots in the back. In the daytime, when I, f I found shooting the matches in the daytime with these sights, pretty much like having a blacked out rear sight, which is my preference. So I like that a lot. When you get it in total darkness, you've got a three dot setup. So already in the span of just a few weeks, I feel like I've shot this pistol in just about every climate. <laughs> it's been that kind of a spring for us. You know, one day it's summer, the next day it's winter, and the next day it's somewhere in between with lots of wind. That's how it's been, and I've shot this gun in pretty much all those conditions. So that's made for a, an interesting test. I love the finish. You know, I like, I like the... Uh, I like the cosmetic changes, but I really, really like all the things that they chose to include as upgrades in the Legion. Most importantly, at least for the single action only, what I absolutely love is this trigger. It's got the flat Master Shop trigger in it, and it is crisp and light. The reset is phenomenal, especially for a hammer-fired gun. I mean, if you if you think about a really well-tuned 1911 trigger, you're almost there with this gun. It's that good. I found the um, the the grip is is awesome with those G10s, and I expected that it would be. But just in general, uh, the gun fits my hand really well. It was easy to draw, and it was easy to have um, just about the perfect grip as I pushed out. The sights acquired quickly onto my targets. I didn't find myself having to adjust my grip. So right out of the box, into my holster, into a competition, I was able to shoot the gun pretty well. I had zero hiccups, no malfunctions of any kind, and again, that's somewhere between four and 500 rounds so far. Oh my god, the reset on this trigger is just so short, so crisp. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna try to show it to you in this video. I'm going to try to set up a camera angle where you can really get a good feel for what the reset's like on this trigger. But it is just absolutely fantastic. This is a match gun. This is a definite match gun. I'm shooting Sig Sauer ammo, by the way. Only seemed appropriate, right? Sig Sauer Elite Performance 115 grain full metal jacket. Let's go up top. I've given myself an orange dot to aim for so I can maybe uh, aim small, miss small. Now I'm going to try a six o'clock hold.
It looks like uh, all my shots were pretty much at six o'clock. So I put the orange dot right on top of this site. Looks like it's point of aim impact. So I'll keep that in mind going forward. I'm gonna load up, try some different ammo. The six hour ammo did really well. Here's a look at that sight picture with those SIG X-ray sights. Switching over now to Remington UMC, 115 grain ball ammo. Same distance, 10 yards. Freshen my target with a new dot. Paste it over my other holes. Let's see how the Remington does. Looks like a little wider group, a little more spread with the Remington. Looks like maybe the Sig Sauer Legion likes the Sig Sauer Elite Performance ammo. Hmm. Coincidence? This is one sweet shooter. I like Sigs anyway. If you watch the channel, you're familiar with my videos, you know I do have an affinity for the Sig Sauer. This is just about as fine a Sig Sauer as I have ever shot. You know, it's, it's every bit of Sig Sauer. It's, it's got that extra tuning. You know, the sights are great. The grips are fantastic. The trigger is what makes this gun. This trigger is absolutely fantastic. This is a hard gun to shoot slow because it's almost, impo and it's almost impossible not to shoot it well fast. We're going to see a whole lot more of this gun because, man, this is just one fine shooter. Like I say, you, you almost can't shoot it too fast. So, Six Hour Legion in the P226 single action only. This was the first hundred. There's gonna be lots more hundred to come. And now, it's starting to sleet, so I'm out of here. All right, so there you go. Let's wrap it up. There's your first hundred, your first 400, actually. Six hour P226, single action only, Legion. Absolutely awesome handgun. Stick around. <laughs> Keep an eye on Guns America for the in-depth review, which will be coming in the not too distant future. 